prayed for eight years, asking God, when would there be justice? I remember my nephew was like the godfather in that village. They loan his money, he has seven acres of land, they eat. When, when I say you're letting them, he said they need it. They come and borrow from him. He give them food, he, he just leave it to them and he died a gruesome death. 78-year-old Emilio Nelson of Nonpareil, St. Mark, was found murdered on November 30, 2012. His aunt, who did not wish to show her face on camera, painfully recalls the day her nephew's body was discovered. She says Emilio was kind to the villagers where he lived. Looking at the two young men, she says she feels broken. She sounded a warning to parents, especially mothers. To thank God for answered prayers. I remember on that day when I went to his house and I saw my nephew being tied to the back of his van. How hurt I was. And I want to speak to mothers who encourage their children to do wrong. And they know it's wrong and do nothing about it. The nation, the mothers have something to face with in this nation. It is like another virus. When they call us to come and identify the body, my sister identified the body by his fingers. He was martyred everywhere. And this does not reside well with God. Another aunt of the deceased spoke out as the two accused made their first court appearance at the Gov Magistrates Court on Tuesday. For eight years, justice has begun. And I must compliment the police force in Grenada for having worked on it so it can come to today. And we just hope that we will continue to see justice. And from this, young people will learn the best thing to do in life because someday, someday, it will catch up with you. This advice she sends to young people in Grenada. To all young people of Grenada, I'm talking to them on the behalf of my nephew. Always do the right thing. You will receive the reward. And if you do the wrong things, the day will come, like today. I pray for all of them, and I pray for the parents of these children. And I pray for them too, that they may find a brighter sight in life, and not what has happened to them today. Representing one of the accused, Jamal Young, was attorney Ali Gill, while Ronald Fletcher retained the service of attorney at law Derek Sylvester, who was not present at today's hearing. The two were remanded to Her Majesty's prison. Fletcher will make his next court appearance on June 23rd at the Grenville Magistrates Court to answer to a charge of illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Chris Lena John, GBN News.